Okay, this has been a pain to compile, but here's a video explaining what your options are to buy Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, current gen, next gen, cross gen, all of that, uh, all that nonsense. Cross gen obviously doesn't apply to PC because PC doesn't have generations. PC via Battle.net has the standard edition and the ultimate edition. The cross gen stuff gets really messy and confusing, so I'll list the editions first and then go into detail on what you need to know for cross-gen. Also, pre-ordering any digital edition gets you early access to the open beta a little bit earlier on PS4 according to the trailer for the game, as well as instant access to the Woods Operator and Weapon Blueprint in Modern Warfare, including Warzone. So, starting with the standard version for $60, which has the Xbox One or PS4 version, that version will be playable on Xbox Series X or PS5 through backwards compatibility, and you get the Confrontation Weapons Pack. The digital cross-gen version is $70, which has all the same things but lets you download the Series X or PS5 version when it launches, meaning an enhanced version not just playing the backwards compatible last-gen version. The Ultimate Edition, which is $90, also gets you the free next-gen upgrade, and you get the Land, Sea, and Air Pack, which has three operator skins, three vehicle skins, three weapon blueprints, the battle pass bundle, which is the season one battle pass plus 20 tier skips, and the confrontation weapons pack, of course. So now getting into cross-gen, it is a huge mess, and there is a frequently asked questions page on Activision's support website that I will link in the description, so you can go check that out, read it for yourself, if my explanation doesn't help. Um, so one thing to get out of the way, if you buy a current gen version of Black Ops Cold War, Xbox One or PS4, it will be backwards compatible with the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5, so you will be able to play the game on your own new next gen console. The upgrades I'm about to talk about are the enhanced built for next gen versions of the Black Ops Cold War with higher frame rate, hardware based ray tracing, faster load times, stuff like that. So first one, if you buy the digital standard edition on PS4, you will have the option to upgrade to PS5 through the PlayStation Store. Nothing listed so far on how much that would cost. And now talking about the digital standard edition for Xbox, the Activision website says, quote, the Xbox One upgrade to Xbox Series X through the Microsoft Store is currently being evaluated and new information will be updated in this FAQ when available. So basically, we don't know if we'll be able to do that. If you buy the digital standard edition for Xbox One, we're not sure if you're going to be able to upgrade to the Series X version through the Microsoft Store. Um, and moving on from that, if you buy the physical standard edition disc for PlayStation 4, also, again, there will be an option to upgrade to the PlayStation 5 version through the PlayStation Store, just like the digital version. But with the physical version, the PS4 disc needs to be in the PS5 to play the digitally upgraded PS5 version of the game. So don't get the physical version of Black Ops Cold War if you're planning on getting the discless PS5, otherwise you're going to have to buy the game again. And for the physical standard edition on Xbox, according to this frequently asked questions page on Activision's website, the physical standard edition Xbox One version cannot be upgraded to Xbox Series X. Again, you can still play the Xbox One version through backwards compatibility, but you can't upgrade it to the next-gen enhanced version if you get the physical standard edition on Xbox One. I'm not sure why they did it that way, especially since PlayStation gives you the option. Um, it's really weird to follow. This has been a huge pain to go through all this and get try and give you a reasonable explanation and put this whole thing in words that are easy to understand. And that was the worst of it. And now I'm going to go over some easier stuff. The next gen physical standard edition. So the disc version for PS5 and Xbox Series X. The PS5 disc works only on the PS5 with a disc drive, obviously. For the discless PS5, you'll have to buy the cross gen version, which I'll go over in a second. The PS5 disc will not operate on a PS4. 99% of people don't really need to worry about that, but there you go. The next-gen physical standard edition for Xbox Series X will work on an Xbox One. Again, most people don't really need that anyway, but there you go. 
We don't have a confirmed price for these, but I'm assuming they're going to be $70 probably. And going into the cross-gen bundles, also $70 as I said earlier, only available digitally. This bundle works exactly the same, whether it's PlayStation or Xbox, thank you. Uh, when you buy the cross-gen bundle, you get a digital entitlement to both the current gen and the next gen versions of the game. You can download the current gen version on release day, November 13th, and the next gen version of the game will automatically become available for download from your account library once the next gen console launches later this year. So you play it on your current gen console, and whenever you get the next gen console, even if it's a year from now, um, the next gen version will just be there in your library to download. It has to be PS4 to PS5 or Xbox One to Xbox Series X. You can't do PS4 to Xbox Series X or Xbox One to PS5. Otherwise, you're going to have to buy the game again. Also, if you purchase the bundle on a next-gen platform, you will receive the entitlement to the current-gen version because why not, I guess, similar to the disc working on the Xbox One, uh, the Series X version. So I hope that cleared some things, some things up or gave you all the information you needed. I will have Activision's Frequently Asked Questions page linked in the description so you can go look yourself. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to UpdateX here on YouTube so you don't miss any videos. Follow the show's Twitter and Instagram at UpdateXShow, or you can follow me on Twitter, Twitch, or basically anywhere else at TheOnlyResh. Thank you again for watching. Have an awesome day.